heal because whenever we have these planetary alignments, there are like openings that go into the earth and so our prayers and our intentions can embed and be communicated um, very profoundly. So it's really important for us to take this time now to align our hearts uh, with the earth's resonance and with our intentions and coming into unity consciousness. And tonight's theme is divine love and unity consciousness. That's very much what this portal is about. And um, it's specifically going in through a specific grid point that travels throughout the whole earth. So I just want to backtrack because this is the culmination. You know, we're, we're, as the earth is moving in this evolutionary cycle, we're moving within cycles within cycles. And so there is a bigger cycle and then another cycle and then it comes down to this very minute cycle. And at the minutest cycle, it comes down even to our body rhythms and our cycles. So our rhythms are actually part of a smaller cycle of this cosmic universal cycles within cycles. And so within these many cycles, we just came into another um, cyclic portion of time that started with the, um, the 11th for the Uranus, when Uranus went into, on March 11th, when the earthquake and the tsunami hit in Japan, that was a specific point. That was when Uranus went into Aries, and um, it was the opening of a portal. So what happened was with that earthquake, that earthquake actually opened up um, the Earth, right? So to open up, release energy, and allow the Earth to be able to receive these influxes of energy that are pouring into the planet. So as much as, you know, um, some people see it as very tragic and there's aspects of it that have that emotional quality for sure, it was a very important part of this whole process. And it's very important for us to remember that so that we don't go into this, oh, something's wrong that's happening here. This is all part of the process and the earth had to crack open and literally open up those tectonic plates so that the energy can be received and embedded into the earth because just like our transformational process, the earth is in her transformational process and she is receiving this energy and that energy is going to change the biological structure on the planet. And as the biological structure on the planet changes, at the culmination of this upcoming cycle point, our bodies also biologically change because the Earth's elements are the same elements as in our body. It's the same elements as the stars. There's slightly different chemical structures. So you could even say that we are becoming more of that star energy, our higher multi-dimensional aspects of ourselves as this earth is raising her vibration, we are also opening up to these higher light vibrations. And that is shifting us from a denser frequency bandwidth into a higher frequency bandwidth, which changes the physical form. It's basically a different type of light because our main source of light has been the sunlight. And that sunlight carries particular codes and frequencies and a bandwidth of light. Now that light creates a certain biology that we are all living within, the biology of the earth and the biology of our body. When we're talking about that light, that sunlight that is coming from the sun, which gives the biological structure of the earth, the biological structure of the human form, that light is now shifting. The earth is starting to receive new frequencies of light and begin to move into an alignment within another star system that we're receiving more photon light from the Pleiades star system. That's a different type of light. It's a different frequency bandwidth. And so the frequency bandwidth that we've been um, living within is the rainbow light. 
Okay, the rainbow light is the light of the seven chakras. The rainbow light is, a, is the visible spectrum of light. This is what is part of this biological structure on the earth. It contains all the elemental compounds and structures to create life. Okay? When I believe that the ancient cultures who talked about the rainbow bridge, I believe what they were really talking about was the rainbow being a bridge into the next frequency spectrum of light. And that's the process of transformation that humanity and this earth is in right now. We are into moving ourselves into a higher frequency band with the light, which means these are new colors. And the colors are more translucent. They're vibrant, but they're more translucent. So they're new colors and enhanced colors of light that have a lighter frequency to them. And so as we're able to receive that light, it literally transforms our human body. And we will be, have a different chemical structure. And part of that has to do with the um, combination of the water and the air, all the elemental alchemical fusions, as also fire and water. So we're actually moving from um, a water-based body, which is made up of mostly water, we're moving into an air-based body, more light, more air. And some of what's being found in science uh, really correlates with that because our planet is made up of mostly water just like our bodies and that is H2O and the water compound that is found on the stars is slightly different but it still has that mixture but there's a different structure to it so it's similar but it's different, and it's a lighter frequency, and it has more of an air base to it. So that's what we're doing. We're moving into this new bandwidth that's going to lighten up our whole bodies. And one of the most powerful things that we can do is to use the sound, and our, our breath, of course, and movement to help to open up the body so that we can receive these lighter frequencies in. We have to open up space. When our physical bodies contract, this does not allow breath and energy and prana to come in and bring in these frequencies. So the more movement and exercise that we can do, the better. This helps to open up the, the heart, open up all areas in the body and begin to get this breath and light coming through because ultimately we want to pulse these new frequencies and colors through our bodies, through the movement, through the dance, through the ancient ways of bringing this energy in from the cosmos and anchoring it into our bodies and into the earth for a transformational process and an ascension of the earth. And that's our ascension. And that means that we have to ground and harmonize with the earth. First of all, we have to come back into the natural vibrations and harmonics of the earth and the universe. Get ourselves back into that psychic, rhythmic pattern and unify together to build a strong field. And that's what's been happening on the planet. By all of us coming together and starting to unify, we are anchoring a very strong field that can continue to ground with the earth. And that is so important that we ground with the earth. And in the meditation tonight, is uh, we're going to do the, the polar axis meditation to anchor into the core of the earth. Because what has been shown to me is that as this earth is moving through this transition, the, the polar axis shift is, in, is going into this new alignment and our spinal column needs to be in alignment with the vertical axis of the earth. Okay, if the earth is shifting like this and doing this flip, we don't want to still be over here. We want to have our spinal column moving with her and then we just move with the earth. So, 
if we're not in that alignment with the, the axis, the vertical axis of the earth, then it can feel very wobbly, like we're falling, like we're scattered, like our head's getting lighter, and we're not really grounded and connected. So it's really important for us to be grounded. So we're going to do that meditation tonight, and, um, and that's something that you can use at home on a daily basis, even a couple times a day. It doesn't have to be long. It can be really fast, because you're going to start to feel it. And one of the important aspects of the meditation, once we ground in and we get our central channel in the central axis of the earth, is to um, connect with that core crystal at the very center of the earth, which is the DNA, because the earth is a sphere, just like the cells in our body is a sphere, and in the center of our cells is the DNA, and in the center of the earth is the core crystal DNA in the center of the earth. And so we want to be pulsing and having our root chakra open and our whole energy channels open so that we can receive this pulse from the DNA of the earth. And we want to connect that into our heart rhythm, into our heartbeat, so that we feel that our rhythm in our heart, our pulse, is pulsing with the earth. And then that connects our brain, because the brain and the heart are connected. And when we come into connection and coherence in the heart, our brain waves follow. When we come into coherence in our brain waves, the heart follows. And so does the respiratory system, and so does the cranial sacral fluid in the spine. So all four pulse systems in the body come into congruence and is pulsing with the earth. And then that's when we're just flowing, we're directed, we're completely in the unity field.